Good afternoon, all. So today we'll study the next topic from the unit number one. Next topic from the unit number one is the expressions. Expressions are nothing but these are the combinations of operators and operand that is interpreted to produce some other value. Here one example is taken. X is a variable, and the value for this x is x variable is given as a fifteen plus one point one point three. Here plus is an arithmetic operator, addition operator. And fifteen and one point three, these are the operands. So in this expression, these operands and the operators are combined to produce some other value. So here, the value of x will become six point three. So whenever you execute this program, print x. So the value of x will be printed six point three here. We'll consider uh, one more example here for the arithmetic expression. If it is written like this, x plus y. Means addition will be performed on these two variables x and y. Subtraction will be performed here, and here multiplication will be performed. We'll execute this part by using the ideally. So here, if you are writing like this, x is equal to fourteen plus sixteen point seven. Suppose it will give you the output. This one is expression as we have considered operand and the operators here. So the value of x will be printed thirty point seven. If you are writing like this, if your expression is like this, five plus seven. Okay. In this case, addition will not be performed. Here, these five and seven are not the integer. These are the strings. System will consider it as a strings here, and the concatenation of these two uh, strings will be uh, taken takes place, and you will get the output fifty seven. Okay, as your addition will not perform, it will perform the concatenation here. So, if you are writing like this, let enter print five plus seven. It will give you the output twelve. Your addition will be performed, but in this case, these two are the strings and If you are using plus symbol here, plus operator here, this operator will be used for the concatenation in this case. Okay. Now we'll move to the next topic. Next topic is the Python operators precedence. So in expressions, these operators are used, right? So on the basis of their precedence, the system will execute. Those operators, okay. So if parentheses are they given there, parentheses will be executed first. So if any expression, if any values, operands and operators are given within the parentheses, it will be executed first. After that, if exponentiation is there, this exponentiation will be executed after the parentheses. If in your ex uh, expression only the exponentiation is there parentheses are not given then here for the exponentiation first priority will be given so with the help of this precedence you need to the system will execute those operations or those expressions okay now we'll move to the next topic next topic is python input function python input function it is mainly used to take the input from the user side and the syntax for this input function is variable is equal to input and in bracket prompt prompt is nothing but it is a string which is used for representing a default message before the input so we'll execute this part by using the python ideally so here we'll create new file suppose you are taking the name from the user side so name is a variable name It is equal to input, and in parentheses write down the prompt and the name. After that, second one is suppose you are taking the address from the user side, so address is your variable. Then the input function. After that, the prompt and the address. And after this, we are going to print it the name and the address, suppose. Okay, we'll run this program. First of all, we need to save this program by using the name of that 
file dot py extension enter name name suppose you are writing anything here and then no support and full name okay and then we are going to print the name and the address here okay so here in this case we have taken the input from the user side name and the address we have taken from the user side and if you forgot to write anything here write string here then this user will not get any idea about means what he need to enter first is name and the second one is the address okay so if you if you forgot to write the prompt then user will not get any idea about it that what he need to enter so every time we need to enter the, the prompt so that user will get an idea about it that what he needs to enter so prompt is nothing but is a string it is mainly required for the default message what we need to enter okay if you want to read the numbers from the uh, user side for reading the numbers in previous cases we have taken the input from the user side and that input is always in a string format so input function it always returns a string format we need to convert those strings into the number okay if you want to take the input from the user side in a numbers format in either integer or in float we need to convert that string into the number okay so for that purpose you will require this syntax here general format function 1 and in bracket function 2 and the argument so here whatever the value written by the function 2 it is passed to the function 1 here so here one example is taken here function 2 is a input function and the function 1 is a integer function so whatever the value you will get by executing this function 2 in input function that value will be passed to the integer okay so you are taking the input from the user side what is your age so whatever the age you have taken from the user side it is in a string format now we are going to convert it into the integer format because we are sending we are going to pass that value from the function 2 to the function 1 okay this type conversion it only works if the item is valid numeric value otherwise it will gives you an error means if you are taking the uh, age from the user side and if that user has given uh, that age in a string format like 30 32 if he is he is uh, taking he is giving that input in a string format then it will not be converted into the integer okay we'll execute this part by using the ideally next one is you are taking the age from the user side age is your variable here input enter age okay as age is an integer format we need to convert this string into the integer format input function it always returns value in a string format we need to convert it it into the numbers okay we will execute this part enter the name after that address and the age okay system will accept it but if user has given like this the name address and the age okay if the age is taken in the format of string then it will gives you an error okay as invalid literals in invalid input is taken okay we cannot convert this 20 into the uh, integer format so that's why here it is written that type conversion it only works if the item is in numeric value valid numeric value okay we need to if you want to convert that value into the integer or float you need to take the valid input from the user side then and then only it will work okay thank you